Well, if the ground's not frozen and covered with snow yet where you're at, there's still time to finish those last minute, end of the season tasks you might not have gotten around to yet. And if you're anything like me, you've got a couple of them. So today we're gonna to be preparing the vegetable garden for winter and putting our beds to bed by tackling my top three fall garden to-dos and one great big to-don't. Now the first task on the list is to clean up and remove the old plants out of the beds. Now there's a couple reasons we want to do that. Um, the first reason is it's a great source of material for the compost pile. We can never get enough of it. And the second reason is um, the old plants left on the beds can actually harbor um, if they have any disease or possibly any pests. They can uh, kind of hide and harbor those for the next season. So it's a good idea to remove them from the bed and now is a great time to do that so they have time to break down in the compost pile. And what we like to do is just remove them right at or just below the um, soil surface, leaving the roots in there to add organic matter to the beds and to feed the microbiology. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one cleaned up and we'll move on to step two. All right, now the second task on the to-do list would be to add your soil amendments. Now despite the fact that most people wait till spring to do this, by adding the nutrients now, it actually gives them time to break down and become biologically active for your plants in the spring. So putting stuff in like your compost, your kelp meal, your alfalfa meal, great time to get that done right now. Not to mention that it actually gives you a big jump on your chores come springtime. One bed down, 35 to go. All right, so the third an almost final task on my to-do list. I've got a fourth bonus to do, but the third task is actually cover your soil. There's a lot of benefits to covering your soil over the winter time, uh, but it really acts as a blanket and, and protects the microorganisms and the roots on the young plants, especially beds that you have plants in, like our strawberries here. There's a few different ways you can cover your beds and cover your soil. One of the ways you can do it, and one of the best ways actually, is through doing cover cropping by planting rye and clover late summer early fall it'll help prevent erosion break up compacted soil as well as add organic matter to your garden beds not to mention you can also add nutrients to the soil by planting legumes as a cover crop clover being one of them um, but you also have beans and peas and they'll actually help raise the nitrogen levels in the soil available for the plants that you intend to put in there next so legumes are great cover crop now the second way to cover your beds is through mulch and that's really what i prefer to do when we're talking about my strawberry plants now for strawberry plants mulch is great for one it's free i like to use leaves because they're light and fluffy enough I can, I can cover the entire bed, I'll cover the leaves. You do want to cover the leaves with something if you're using leaves so they don't all blow away. Um, but I cover them with some old deer netting that I have. So leaves work great. You can also use wood chips, which I'll put around my raspberries and blueberries. They absolutely love that. Leaves for my strawberries, wood chips for my blueberries. Um, if you're growing things like garlic, actually pine shavings work really well for that. Um, it'll add a little bit more protection, keep them a little bit warmer. Um, and that's one of the big benefits to adding mulch in the winter is it acts as a blanket to kind of regulate the temperature and moisture levels coming in and out of winter. Really help give it a little added protection for the roots. Now the third way of covering your beds um, is using tarps. Tarps are a great, great way to do it if you're building new beds. Um, for doing, if you have time to stale seed bed, tarps work really good for all the same benefits as mulching, um, but really, really good as for killing off your weeds. Um, I like to use them personally when I'm building new beds. One of the nicest things about using the tarp is it goes down pretty quickly. You can cover a very large area, say my whole 40 by 50 foot block of 10 beds in about five minutes. So you can just cover the whole thing up. So it's, that's one of the biggest benefits to the tarps as well. They do have a couple disadvantages though. One of them being 
they're not cheap. They're, they're kind of expensive unless you can find some, some large farmer that has some used tarps they're just getting rid of that you can get for free. Otherwise, they're pretty expensive. Um, and the other thing is, they're just not very environmentally friendly. So there is that. And then the fourth way to cover the beds, and probably one of my favorites, is cardboard. Um, cardboard is a great resource. It's a great way to add carbon to the soil as well as organic matter. It works really well as a weed suppressant while it's breaking down and can usually kill off that top layer of weeds that would be giving you trouble throughout the season. So I really do like using cardboard as much as I can. So my fourth task, my bonus to do, is to rejuvenate your tools. Now we all know it should be done regularly, but that's easier said than done when the season's in full swing. So now's a great time to get that taken care of. Now the one big two don't. Do not, under any circumstances, worry if you don't get any of this done. <laughs> It'll still be there for you in the spring. Yeah, it'll help you get a jump on it, and there's definitely some advantages to doing some, some of these things now, but don't sweat it. If we're not having fun doing this as well, it's not worth it, and we really shouldn't be stressing out over it. I'm really thankful that the weather's been such that I actually can get out here in December and take care of some of the stuff um, that probably should have been done a month ago. Really thankful for the extra time, and, and I would suggest taking advantage of it if you can. So drop a comment below, and if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, make sure you smash that like button on the way out, and we'll see you on the next one.